back to my channel welcome back for another how-to video today i'll be showing you guys how to use your own elgato stream deck and the go xlr as a soundboard let's get right into the video before we actually get into the video here are the products that you guys will actually would need you guys would need tc helicon go xlr or go xlr mini preferably either or and then you guys would want to have is the elgato stream deck it could be the mini the 10 keyless or if not the full size xl elgato stream deck so you guys want to have either or one of those audacity program i prefer use audacity for all my stuff if i want to record like voiceovers or like record like stuff on youtube the go xlr our application itself one quick tip that i would use is record all through uh the go xlr itself into audacity i would actually have the chat microphone checked all through the system so this will actually pick up every type of sound that you guys will actually hear or play back through your microphone let's say for example once you guys have all this stuff checked out plus the samples though here is audacity audacity is right here we're gonna hit the record button what uh i actually have is the chat microphone selected right here and then we're gonna have a sound effect. This is the big chilling sound effect. Bing we play it back one more time. You guys will actually hear it. Bing you hear big it? Chilling. Sometimes if the sound quality is too low, I would actually, let's delete this, delete that, delete that. And then we're gonna hit control A on your keyboard, effects, amplify, and then we're gonna actually amplify the volume so it's loud. Bing and then that's still not loud enough, so we're gonna hit control again, amplify, and we're gonna do like another five more decibels. I feel like that is good. And then we're gonna export either or MP3 or WAV file. I usually like doing WAV, and then you guys will save it in towards your uh, Go XLR samples, sound effects. You guys can organize it depending on whatever you guys want to do. So once you guys are done that, go into the Elgato Stream Deck application. I forgot to talk about it. You guys would actually need the Elgato Stream Deck as well. So how I actually have this set up, I actually have in my output settings, I would actually check mark the samples. The only reason why I actually have the systems check marked is if I want to record something for Audacity for all my sound effects, soundboard stuff. But normally, this is my default. This is anything you guys will actually hear. This is in general. This is what you guys actually would actually see in my own things. I have check mark, line in selected, and then samples. Samples is the number one key you guys will actually have. So the sample stuff will play back into your mobile microphone. Make sure you guys have the output selected to samples. So that will actually output it towards your microphone. And then how I do it, I will actually have all my sound boards. Let me pull open the sound effects. If I wanted to put in something, instead of going through selecting the three buttons and doing this manually, I would actually have another window selected, Fire Explorer, and then just drag that into it, make my life easier, and I could just play this. Oh my so that's actually how I actually have this set up. And then depending on the sound effect, if the soundboard's too low, I would increase the volume uh soundboard itself. There's a whole bunch of stuff you guys actually do with. Comments, hope you guys enjoy the video of this how-to video. There you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Leave a like, subscribe if you guys are new. This how-to video was a little bit all over the place, but you know, we combined it into one thing. Let me know down in the comments what you guys enjoyed about this. With that being said, I'll see you guys next video. Peace out. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.